What's going on, Golly Vibes family? I pray you guys are well. Um, this episode is going to be pretty short, but I just want to show you guys a video of two different um, celebrity women that are talking about being spiritual. Now, I told you guys uh, before that they put different people in our face. They put different people high on different platforms that aren't leading anyone anywhere good right and uh one of, one of these young ladies she she's a big interviewer um once they blew her up i think mean, she had drake on her show she had tiger on her show different big celebrities once she started once she blew up though she went through a divorce right cool before they blew her up straight married Things going good, gets blown up, divorce, different things happening in her personal life. The other one is, I believe, a, a rapper's uh, girlfriend. But these are two women who a lot of women look to, right? And I just want to show you different things that so many people be talking about. Because it seems cool to them and people who are looking at it will think the same thing. But I'm gonna break down some of this right now, just just for people's sake. Are you religious? No. You're not. Mm mm. That's amazing. Bobby, I ain't doing all that. It's too much. Yeah. You Christian? First of all, religious. I'm not. I'm not mad at that. That point right there. Are you religious? No. All right. Cool. You know, I don't like the religious spirit in the first place. I believe that religious individuals put God in a box. A lot of people have left the church because of religious people, right? Here and there, you'll see different people in my comments who are religious people. Like if I post different music and they don't like the music or they, they don't like, you know, those are religious people. Those are religious people. They put God in a box, in a box that they want him in, and he can't be spread in this kind of way, right? And a lot of people have left the church. Church hurt because of religious people going against them. But I got news for you. Jesus himself was also attacked by religious people. That's why it doesn't affect, like, I don't get affected by people like that. I pray for them. I pray for their soul because they're so in bondage themselves, chained, chained up. By what they believe is true, which isn't actually true. I grew up Christian. So you ain't Christian? I'm Your mama told practices. you to be Christian? My yeah, my parents. But you're not Christian. I'm not any religion right now. Me either. You know, we just yeah, live our life. Exactly. You know, we're spiritual. Yes. You know, we believe in God. Yes. I'll praise to the most high. Yes. Period. But I don't. This is where the road gets bumpy. We're spiritual, we just believe in God. Well, what God? Because there's there are many different gods, lowercase g. So what God are you talking about? What 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 God? There's the Muslim God, right? There's the Hindu God. There's the sickness God. There's different gods. So what God are you talking about? You know, they're talking about Christian, but here's the thing. You, you, you saying, are you Christian? Oh, your mama told you to be Christian and stuff like that. But it's like, I don't, I also don't, I also don't believe in people just being Christian because of their elders, right? They have to step into a place of walking that life. I don't believe when Christians just say, when people just say that they're Christian, they're actually Christians. Your walk makes you Christian, not your words. The Lord says that they honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Right? Go to church on Sunday. Me either. Yeah. I don't go to church either. We know, we, we know, we know, God knows who yeah. we, you know what I'm saying? It's all yeah. up in here. She's basically saying what a lot of different people say, and that's what I really want to touch on. Because a lot of people like this are in the same boat, saying things like, God knows my heart. But the Bible says that the heart is deceitful above all things. You have a lot of people saying that they love Jesus, but the Lord says, if you love me, obey my commandments. Why, why does the Lord Yeshua say, 
if you love me, obey my commandments. If you love me, first of all, if you love Yeshua, that means you love the word because the word is Yeshua. So how can you say you love Yeshua, but you don't even be in his word? You don't even be in the word. That is, that's crazy. That's crazy talk. If you love me, obey my commandments. If you love me, you should know my law. They honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. They honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. I will say to many of them, depart from me. It all coincides. It, oh, it all goes together. Oh, we're going we're gonna to match it up. If you love me, obey my commandments. See, you say you love me. You, your lips say you love me, but your heart is far from me. And to many of you, I'm going to say depart from me. Jesus is the revelation of God manifested in the flesh. If you say you love Jesus, that means you love the word. The word is Jesus. Too many of you guys have put Jesus in this historical figure box. When in fact, Jesus has always been around far before 2000 years ago when he came into flesh. Step out of this historical figure Jesus box and understand that Yeshua is actually the word of God. He is the revelation of God. Too many, like we've stepped so far away from biblical truth and actually learning revelation the way it's meant to be learned, the way it's meant to be taught, that we lost the sight that God wants us to have. We've stepped out of a spiritual box and stepped into a carnal one where we're too busy worrying about the, 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 the flesh of God instead of the revelation of God. That's why you have a lot of people say things like, oh, I can't wait to hug Jesus. You're hugging the Lord every time you dive into his revelation. You're hugging the Lord every time you dive into his scriptures. Every time you engraft Christ, you are hugging the Lord. And if you can't see that, you're too far into a carnal box. You're too far into a fleshly box. You need to step out of that fleshly box and step into the spiritual aspect of the word of God, the way the Lord wants us to. John 4, 23, John 4, 24. For the hour is coming and it is here where the Lord, where the Lord's worshipers will worship him in spirit and truth because the father seeks such. We have to get back into a place where we're understanding God in spirit and truth. The true nature of God. The true nature of God. Truly coming into the presence of the Lord. Truly filling the Lord. You have eyes, but you can't see. The Lord said. Meaning, even when he was in the physical Many couldn't even see him because they were too busy looking at the physical. Oh, my. Are you hearing what I'm telling you right now? To see God is to see his revelation. To see his revelation in everything. This is why I say different things in, with different parables because God spoke in parables. And everything that we do down here on earth is meant to be able to show God. Even when it comes to a man marrying a wife, the soul marrying the spirit. The Lord has put things in order for us to see him. And when we step out of that order, we don't see him anymore. Things get blemished. Things get confusing. And God is not the author of confusion. The devil is. So are you seeing God in your daily activities? Are you seeing God in your daily life? Are you seeing God 
with things you are putting with 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 things you are putting yourself into. Are you seeing the Lord or are you seeing flesh? The Lord wants us to see him. Amen. If you truly love the Lord, you should love his word because he is the word. Amen. I'm probably all coming to that truth. All coming to that light. Hallelujah. I love you guys. God bless you. Love.